Hey everyone, I'm finally back with another video, and if you're new to my channel, my name is Mackenzie. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but life has just gotten in the way, and I'm just starting to get back into the swing of things. So today, I thought I would do a Sephora haul, because for the VIB haul, I picked out quite a few things just for my birthday's coming up as well as Christmas so I thought I would treat myself you know so I have two orders because the first one I was I think it was like a beauty insider is the first level so I had like 15 percent off with that purchase and since I I guess I spent enough money within a calendar year to reach a VIB and then there was one more thing I wanted so for the VIB um, discount off it was 20% so I was like you know what Mackenzie why not you go get that other thing that you want so I placed two orders like an hour apart from each other so in the first box here this is like the bigger order the other order I only have one thing in um, the first thing I got was the Becca highlighter in the shade Moonstone it's a shimmering skin perfecter it's the pressed version as well so the outside just looks like this so there it is it's just the shade moonstone and i have the shade opal in the becca pressed powder the shimmering skin perfector pressed powder but sometimes i find it can be a little too dark and this is a little bit lighter so i wanted to try this one out so something very tragic happened to me my beauty blender it's really dirty right now but anyways i was cleaning it one day and i don't know why but it, this one started to get a lot of rips in it and this has never happened to me before and a whole like chunk of it fell off so I just like cut it off and I've been using that for now and it's really like janky and gross so I decided I needed to get some new beauty blenders some new beauty blenders so I picked up picked up this set here so it comes with two beauty blenders one that is like a nude shade so that'll be perfect for like foundation because it won't look gross all the time um, a pink one comes with a blotterazzi, blotter, blotterazzi, I don't know if I'm saying that right. So pretty much it's like the same texture as the beauty blenders I believe and you just use this to pat your makeup throughout the day without disturbing it so it just gets rid of the oil and stuff. So yeah, like basically it says it's washable reusable cushion water that absorbs oil with oil without disturbing makeup. And then I get, and then it also came with this small version of the Solid Beauty Blender Cleanser, which I've heard is way better than the liquid version, so I'm excited to try that out as well. To clean my makeup brushes, I heard really good things about this Solid Brush Cleanser from the Sephora brand, and I just brought the mini version of it just to try it out because I need a new brush cleanser because the one I'm using isn't too great. It's from the brand QUO, and I absolutely do not like that brand at all, so... Um, yeah, so it just says it's a solid soap that removes brush buildup on makeup brushes and sponges made with Moroccan or argan oil for added conditioning. So I'm hoping this keeps my brushes nice and soft. So this thing that I was really excited about, it's this Sephora Collection Ready to Roll Brush Set. So it comes in this case so I can use it for traveling. You open it up. And it has this cover so to make sure you don't get like powders or anything all over everything and they look just like this all the brushes so go over everything this comes with it comes with a powder brush complexion brush angled blush brush a highlight and contour brush a fan brush eyeshadow brush smudge brush blending crease brush concealer brush and angled liner with spoolie brush so that is all the, the brushes that are in here and I'm really excited because I wanted some better quality brushes than the ones I have right now and to be honest the main reason I got this was because of the fan brush and I really wanted a fan brush for a very long time to do my highlight with because I think it'll make things so much easier and then I came across this set and it had a whole bunch of these brushes that looked that like I thought would be very useful as well with my everyday makeup and like when I'm doing special looks so that's why I picked this up. Plus you can get, never go wrong with too many brushes just because like they get dirty and if you don't have time to clean them, you know, so yeah, that was that. And then since it's my birthday month, this month I got the little birthday gift set. It comes with a blush and a lip paint.
So it comes with this mini erosion lip paint, and I believe it's in the shade Birthday Suit. Yeah, so it's just like a light pink shade, and I think it'll be really pretty. I haven't tried it yet. And then it also came with this tart blush in the shade Party. So just a nice neutral pink, and that'll be, those will be both, those will be both perfect for like everyday wear, so I'm excited about that. And then since you order online, you get to pick like the three free samples, so I've picked out this Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Shampoo and Conditioner, because I love the Bumble and Bumble brand, so I was like, why not? I'll try their shampoo and conditioner. And then I also got a shampoo and conditioner from the brand Verb. And the last sample was this um, Nourishing Lip Balm by Fresh. And then since I did hit the VIB status, I think you have to spend like $350 in a calendar year. And I'm not surprised that I did that, but yeah. So you pretty much just get this card saying that you get seasonal savings, handpicked gifts, and these offers below. So I get a card for 10% off my next purchase as well as like a complimentary 45 minute makeover so that's exciting so this order here the second order that i got it's been something that i've been looking at for a while and i'm like no mackenzie you can just wait a bit and get it a little bit later but there have been a few um like holiday gift sets that i've wanted and they've went out of stock like the sephora i think it's sephora favorites give me more lip it was like this set of with with like a whole bunch of different beautiful lip shades that I wanted to get. It was like $80. So I went to buy it after been looking at it for a while and it had been in stock and then the day I went to buy it, it wasn't in stock. So I was pretty upset about that because, you know, I'm a makeup hoarder and I was really looking forward to that. I'd get a whole bunch of new lip shades, but things just don't work out, I guess. So that made me sad. And then there, I think there was another holiday set too. I forget what it was, but yeah. There's another holiday set that I wasn't able to get that I was looking at. So I was like, Mackenzie, you know what? You have the 20% off now for the VIB sale. You might as well get it. So the item from the second order I picked up was this Tarte Blush Palette. It is $57 Canadian. That's how much it cost, but the value is $180. So you get a lot for what you're paying and it's a really good deal. So it's just this Blush Bazaar Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. And I love the packaging, like, oh, so beautiful, you know? When you buy makeup that looks really pretty, you know, it just makes you, makes me feel a lot happier. So it just comes like this. So this is the packaging, like look how stunning and pretty that is. And then you just open it up. And there it is. So it comes with five shades all together and two of them are highlights. I believe this one right here called Worthy is a highlight and this one up here called Whimsical is a highlight. So the rest, so you get eight blushes and two highlights and they're all stunning colors. Um, a lot of these will be very wearable. The only one I'm not sure about is this. Um, deeper pinky red color down here called Extraordinary. It has some like shimmer in it and I don't know how I feel about shimmer in my blush but yeah I'm gonna test them all out and yeah I won't have to buy blush for a long time. It has like every color pretty much imaginable in here and yeah so I was very excited about that just because super pretty. I get a lot of different options for blush and I feel like blush is something that you don't really hit pan on often Especially if it's like a really um, good blush, it's not something you would go through often. So this is going to last me a long time and I don't have to worry about spending more money on blushes. So I was very excited that I got that purchase. And then for the three samples again, I got the Bumble and Bumble one because I really like that brand. The shampoo and conditioner and then I got a shampoo and conditioner from Briogeo called Blossom and Bloom Ginseng and Biotin. And Biotin is really good for your hair, so I'm excited to try this out and see how it makes my hair feel. feel. And then I also got this, um, I think it's a moisturizer. So it has a day and a night moisturizer by the brand Origin. So they're just here on the back. So I'm gonna try, I like trying out little samples because then it gives me an idea if I like them before I wanna try like 
a bigger product of it. So those are all the purchases I made from the Beauty Insider and VIB sale from Sephora. I'm really excited to try all of, all of those things out because I haven't yet. I was waiting to show them in the video so that they look new and not used. So I'm really glad that I get to try them now because I've had them for about a week and it's so hard to not touch them. But yeah, so. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as often like I said at the beginning of this video, but school and life and everything just got in the way, but I'm looking forward to uploading more again. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below as well as subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.